welcome to this Solid Edge podcast, bringing you quick and easy tips and tricks from the experts. Changing the length, width or height of non-symmetrical parts about their center is tricky, usually requiring complex parametric relationship. Here's an example by Doug Stainbrook from the Solid Edge field support team that you'll find useful when developing parts in Solid Edge ST. Thanks for providing this example, Doug. Show how it's done. What I'm going to show you in this short demonstration is how to create a symmetric relationship and how to persist that within the model. So to start with, I just want to pick this face and begin to drag. And you can see that just this feature is being moved, that the, uh, the feature on the opposite side is not moving. It's not symmetric. So what we're going to do is select that again. I'm going to use the relate command. I'm going to persist, which means to remember this relationship and tell it to be symmetric about this plane. You can see that it moves the selected face uh, equal distance from that plane so that it is symmetric. So now if I pick this face and begin to drag, you can see that it's moving symmetrically. I can do this even on faces that are not geometrically matched. So I'm going to select this face, run the same command. I want to persist it and be symmetric about that plane. So now if I pick this face and begin to drag, you can see that it's going to move symmetrically. Now this is a persistent relationship, which means even if I suspend live rules, it's still going to maintain that symmetry. In this case, I'm going to move it to this plane uh, so that now if I turn live rules back on um, and begin to drag, coplanar will, will uh, be honored. And you can see that it's moving both of those uh, uh, features symmetrically. Thanks for sharing that, Doug. To learn more, go to www.siemens.com forward slash solid edge or call your local solid edge channel partner.